Hey everybody, Waffle Time here. So, you've trumped the wall of flesh and entered a new age of torment, hard mode. You gotta destroy those mechanical bosses. Some say the destroyer is a great place to start. Now that is going to be outrageously difficult. Or will it? Here are seven simple steps to make defeating the destroyer a total piece of cake. Step one is to break a ton of altars. This will bring hard mode ores into your world, which you'll desperately need to survive. I'd suggest breaking six at the very least so plenty of ore spawns. The first break will either spawn palladium or cobalt, the second will spawn mithril or orichalcum, the third break will spawn either adamantite or titanium. Be careful as you're down there because not only are hard mode mobs trying to kill you, there's also going to be wraiths that spawn upon breaking each altar. Step two is to get full adamantite or titanium armor, just depending on which one spawns in your world. I'll start this step off by saying don't even bother with crafting armor and weapons of the first two tiers of ores. Rather, just go straight for the adamantite or titania by scaling your way up tiers of pickaxes. First you'll need some palladium or cobalt to make a drill or pickaxe with, then you'll move up to mithril or cobalt, then you'll finally move on to adamantite or titanium where you should make full armor and also a repeater. One more thing worth noting is that you're going to need to make a mithril or orichalcum anvil and also an adamantite or titanium furnace. Step three is going to be to get a Daedalus storm bow. To start this step off, you're gonna to need to get 15 souls of light from the underground hollow and make a key of light. You can make those at a crafting bench. This is all done in order to take on a hollowed mimic. To summon one, you'll need to put a key of light and a chest. It could be any chest. Before you go doing that, I must warn you, these things are pretty damn tough. I suggest some light preparation, such as a quick arena setup and perhaps crafting some ichor or cursed arrows for your repeater. What we are after is this bad boy, the Daedalus Stormbow. This thing is an absolute monster and can shred many hard mode enemies to bits. The Hollow Mimics have a 25% chance to drop this, so it might be a grind, but the payoff is amazing. As you can see, I actually got mine from a random encounter with a hollowed mimic in the underground hollow, so with any luck, you'll get yours pretty quickly. Lastly for this step, once you get your Daedalus Stormbow, be sure to reforge it with the Goblin Tinkerer until you get the Unreal modifier. This is the best modifier it could get and it's going to make this weapon even more devastating. Step 4 is to make a ton of Holy Arrows, or less preferably, Jester's Arrows. Holy Arrows take a bit of patience to make, requiring 3 Pixie Dust and 1 Unicorn Horn per 200 arrows, but they are a key component in making the battle with the Destroyer an absolute breeze. They pair fantastic with the Daedalus Stormbow and work especially well against the Destroyer. If you can't seem to get your hands on Holy Arrows, Jester's Arrows can be used. It'll just take much longer to kill a Destroyer and you might find yourself struggling more than if you would've just used Holy Arrows. Honestly, I strongly advise you to go the extra mile and craft up some Holy Arrows. They're just that much better. So, you got all of your arrows crafted, which leads us to step 5, which is building up super high and making a sky bridge. Make sure you build up at least 150 blocks or sometimes even more so that the destroyer won't be able to reach you. Only the probes will. Also be sure to open up your bridge with some platforms so that your arrows can fly right down through your bridge and strike the destroyer. We are on the very last legs of this. Step 6 is going to be getting your potions and your healing ready. Be sure to grab all of your potions that could benefit you in this battle such as health potions, iron skins, endurance, or wrath and rage potions. Be sure to throw down some bonfires and maybe even some heart lanterns on your platform for the extra healing buffs. These really come in handy when you're dealing with those pesky probes the destroyer hurls at you. The seventh and most satisfying step of this all is going to be to summon and kill the destroyer. You can summon him with a mechanical worm which is made of six rotten chunks of vertebrae, five iron or lead bars, and six souls of night. Shoot down through your platform to hit the destroyer, and make sure to kill those probes as they come up because it's pretty easy to get overwhelmed by them. As you can see, the holy arrows combined with the Daedalus Stormbow make this an absolute breeze. The combination of the overhead strikes combined with the fallen stars absolutely shred the destroyer. In no time at all, victory is ours. Celebrate and collect your loot. As quick as that was, that's going to be the end for today, my friends. Thank you all so much for watching, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Good luck in your future battles, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya!